Diving for taco is one of our favorite types of diving to do. Octopus in Hawaii is either known as taco or hee. Hee is the Hawaiian name for octopus. Taco is the Japanese name for octopus. You don't need to be in the deepest water to catch them. They tend to be more abundant around the winter months. But you can catch them year round. They need to be at least a pound to keep them. They are one of our favorite things to eat. Tacos is one of the best baits that we use. Octopus are short-lived and only live about a year to a year and a half. They live in holes that have rocks piled out of them. Sometimes there might be only one rock. Most of the time, the rocks are bright colored and clean, but sometimes they can be dull and dirty too. But the main thing to look out for is rocks pushed out of the hole. Sometimes it might not look like a hole because the taco is sitting in it looking at you. Most times you're not going to catch right off the bat and you will be there for hours. And then you can pick up two or three in like 15 minutes. A lot of it's luck coming across the holes. Sometimes if you see an old timer diving out there before you, you'll just see a bunch of empty holes. You're better to move down the beach away. Here's a bunch of different types of holes to look at. Can you see the taco in them? A lot of times people think it's pretty easy to get the taco out, but it's actually pretty hard.
if you try to tickle them out, sometimes you will lose the taco. Some of those old timers make it look so easy. Here I am diving in deeper water. It's a lot deeper than we normally dive. The water's a little bit dirty. So I'm diving down a few feet so I can see the bottom easier. Finding taco holes are really hard. They can cover a lot of ground with the water jet. And then when they stop and camouflage, it's incredible. How fast they can change the texture and the color of their skin. They are true masters of the skies. Here's another massive disguise. It buries themselves under the sand. So it's really hard to see them. You just see the outline of them. Here's some big veckes. This is what baby Oamas grow up to be. Here's a big puffer fish. We see these guys a lot around. Okay, so what happened with this taco is I tried to check the hole and then two arms came out. Then I went up to breath and tell my mom uh, that there is a taco in the hole. And so she came over and then when I tried to look back at the spear, the taco legs are gone. And then when I tried to get it again, they came out, but more of them came out. And then I tried to get it like more harder. And so what should I, I pulled it out and came off of the spear and started jetting away with its big uh, water jets. And then my mom finally speared it and then I came around and speared it too. But good thing my mom saw it. She was still on top when the ink came out. That's why it's good to have dive partners. When they're about ready to go out of the hole, they usually spray ink everywhere. It gets a little bit distracting sometimes and that's how this guy got away.
If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell for a notification.